Julian Phillips, the composer, and Nicky Singer, the author, uh, came to us with a very enticing idea of a modern retelling of the King Arthur legend uh, and a proposal that uh, John Full James, the, uh, a very talented young British director, should um, direct the project here at Glyndebourne. The libretto is, is the script, if you like, the script that's going to be sung and that in this case of Night Crew, it's Nikki Singer herself who wrote the book. So that was M Nikki and I meeting. Uh, Nikki would work a chunk of it. She'd email it to me. I'd think about it. We'd talk about it. Bat ideas backwards and forwards. Then at some point, the libretto reaches a stage where it's finished for now. And then you start work. Julian's music is is incredibly theatrical. I think he really gets to the emotions that you know one really wants in opera. Um, that's why I go to the opera. I want to see human life reflected in in many different ways through the theatre, through the music, and I think he really does get to the essence of that. I sort of digest the libretto. I just read and read and read and read it. I don't then just put the words on on the piano and set every one, I have to find shapes then. The Night Crew is basically a retelling of the King Arthur legend set in contemporary gangland. There's always a sort of simmering violence. My main character, Arthur, he actually kills the boy. He doesn't know he's killed the boy, but the knife goes too deep. They, they come to the end. The way in which the Night Crew win the battle is Mordek lobs a petrol bomb into the, into the fray. I think perhaps just the other thing to underline about the way we're thinking about staging it is that it really is the story of the chorus. It's about the night crew. Um, and that group of people will be on stage through the show. Um, so they're, they're really the centre of the storytelling. So I, th I, th I think finding a group of people who, who really can be, can be the core of our piece is, is the key. We need a youth chorus of 14 to 19 year olds to be the night crew of the title of the book. But also we need Dannys, which are the younger characters, and these are unbroken boys' voices, so they'll be around 12 years old. So we want to go out there in the community and to find young people. And we've been working with Brighton and Hove in East Sussex to identify young people who wouldn't normally have the opportunity to be in a project like this and might, you know, experience barriers to being in a project like this. So it means going out even further than, than you know, you might normally go and find all the, the usual people who are in all the drama groups and the theatre groups, but actually going further afield and really looking for these young people. This is a very, very serious place, um, and it's a very serious undertaking. And I'm, I'm just reeling from the thought of taking the utterly uninitiated on a very steep learning curve into that, which just at the moment feels like the absolute lion's, the lion's den. Having spread the word, Gareth sets about gathering together a large pool of teenagers Hello. he thinks can make it into his chorus. I'm going to do a little bit of a Michael Jackson song. Um, uh, I'm glad you like that, that's good. They told him, don't you ever come at... It's all in the eyes, it's all in the face, it's all in the stance. But it's not enough that they can sing. To perform in an opera, they need to be able to act, too. I absolutely love him. That's it. That's oh. the quiet ones, isn't it? Karen Gillingham, a director with Glyndebourne yes. Youth Opera, will help Gareth choose the best performers. It'll be several weeks before Gareth will have his shortlist. Look at the way they're working over there in that, out that group. Uh, that's really good. Then he'll have to present his best candidates to an expert panel at Glyndebourne. What was she like acting? Fantastic. Was she? Call the cops! They'll make the final decision about who'll be in Gareth's chorus. Hi, well done. Really good job. 
In this recruitment process, I think we're going to probably reach about 400 young people, which is fantastic um, because what we hope in the workshop process is that they'll get a really good experience of what opera is. So it, it won't feel like, oh, it, you know, it's a slog to an audition, but actually it will be a good process in itself. Could you come and sit down over by the piano? Thanks. We're going to learn a little tiny bit of an opera, really good opera, it's called Carmen. Sir, it's a pack of lies. Look, you can a few young people will be invited face. to a skills workshop Sir. where we'll spend more time with them and deepen the experience and they can find out a bit more about night crew and opera in general and then see whether they'd like to go on to the audition process and of course we'll be looking at them and inviting those that we feel you know, have the energy and the commitment and, and the enthusiasm and of course the talent to go forward to the audition process. Okie dokie, so this is just to get our mouths working. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. To the tune of uh, the William Tell Overture. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. Like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. Bob's got a head like a ping pong ball. Like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Like a ping, like a ping Thank you very much. It's going really amazing, it's so fun. <laughs> Gareth's point was to make it fun, it's really, really fun, it's really good. Yeah, it's gone well, it's hard to learn the words, and I mean, like, I think everyone done really well in there. And I just hope I make it through it. I, we've been told not to think about um, getting through to the opera today, but I think everyone still is. It is very exciting, being in a massive, well-known opera house. It feels like I've, I'm like the chosen one. <laughs> Night crew will involve, in some way, every single person in this building, whether it's our production manager or our artistic team, the front of house team, the props makers. For them, it's another exciting project in Glyndebourne's long voyage of discovery. Uh, and I think, in a way, one of the excitements of the project for us is that it's, it's wonderful for that great team to be working on something that is slightly different from the normal. It's a, it's a new commission, which is a very exciting thing for us to do, and it's working with young people, and that is our audience of the future. It's the middle of January, and at Glyndebourne, things are moving up a gear. The set, 30 tonnes of steel and wire, is constructed in one of the specially designed rehearsal rooms. And all the professional staff have now arrived, and are welcomed by Glyndebourne's general director, David Pickard. It's really nice to have the whole company here today to find out about this project. Um, we've got a production team, many of whom are new to Glyndebourne, so I think we'd like to all welcome them here. Uh, John Full James is the director, is over here. The overriding thing which we wanted to do was to try and create a sense of the epic, to try and create a sense of the mythic. <laughs> Gareth has got to get those young people to that stage where they feel so comfortable with the music, they're not thinking about that at all, so they can concentrate on what stage action they have to do, what interaction they have to do with the rest of their company, and you know, for them to feel really confident about that, and that's, that's a, a big ask. My biggest concern is the volume of what they've got to learn. There's, there's so much of it. I really think that we could take one scene and give them a week and work on it, morning, afternoon, drum the music in, get them on stage, get them moving, and they'd do it, no problems. I'm sure that none of the music on its own is unfeasible. The problem is simply so how much stuff we have to get through. Today, they'll see the Glyndebourne mm -hmm. stage for the first time. is that every single seat in this place feels near. No one's going to feel like they're a million miles away and they didn't get a good seat. It's really impressive. It's really exciting. So it's just made it like so much more come to life. Why are we all excited? Yeah. When I'm 
you're standing on the stage, you can feel the ground vibrate. And it's, just a, it's an amazing feeling. It feels like you're, you're kind of in a battle scene. Once somebody is put into a professional theatre with a professional stage management in a theatre in which distinguished international opera singers have sung, the whole level goes soaring up and people are inspired by the presence of being in a theatre such as ours.